Hey guys, I'm out here playing with the trucks today. I'm gonna to try to play with this one tomorrow or the next day. It just all depends. But today I'm gonna to get out this 75C10 by the name of Sky. And uh, I put Penetrol on this truck when, when I got it this year. I guess it was, uh, let's say, probably spring or early summer when I put Penetrol on it. So I'm gonna go over it and see if there's any spots that might need a little bit of a second coat, you might say. I'm gonna to try to do this whole truck again in Penetrol Ruby, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, I love these little metal buildings, but boy, they sure does make everything, when it gets cooler weather, you get moisture, you know, and especially in the wintertime, I'll just tell you about this, in the wintertime, you'll get, uh, like if you have frost or something like that, when, it, when the sun comes up or it does finally warm up, you know, it kind of drip, it makes condensation, drips on your vehicles, which that's better than sitting outside, but still, you know, I try to take care of them. So anyway, I uh, got sidetracked, which I'm very good at. So let's get in this truck and see for the start. I've had the hood uh, opened up just a little bit because I got in here the other day and checked my battery, uh, my battery, my antifreeze, good grief. Let's see if I can squeeze oh, yep. myself in here. Nothing on the glue traps, which is good. I always put the glue traps, if you ever do this to your vehicles, I put them along the edge because mice like to run along the edges of everything. You know, they'll run, and if they get on the glue trap, they'll get caught on the glue trap. So if you check them periodically, and I have caught mice in my trucks before. I don't know how they get in, but they get in. So if you don't want your wiring heat up in your interior, I haven't started this truck in a pretty good while. That's the fan for the heat. Starts up pretty good to be in old truck I don't know when I started this last it's been several weeks I don't know maybe a month maybe longer I don't I don't know now in case you're a new person to this channel I, I know you old subscribers are tired of me talking about this truck but this is the actual miles 108,000 This truck is, I, I sure do hope if you're a new person or just stumble across this video that you'll go back on Primer This Best, that's my YouTube name, and go back and look at the how this truck was when I first got it this year. I have quite a few videos on it. I hope you will check it out. Once again, every time I get in this truck, I can't help but think uh, GM1038, that's Brian, that's who I bought the truck from. And he done a whole lot to this truck, getting it to run as good as it does. This truck runs like a champ. So thank you, Brian. And Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop. He is on Facebook. He done a lot of metal work. Lots and lots and lots of metal work to this truck. This is one of those trucks that most people would have left for dead. So... Actually, the guy that used to own this truck was going to pull the 350 and the transmission out and put it in a race car. It's a four-bolt main, and it's set for 15-plus years. So he was going to pull the boat and transmission out and put it in a... I think he's going to build it and put it in a race car. He does race cars. So, luckily, GM1038, which is Brian, he got a hold of it before he done that and just bought the whole truck. So I'm proud he did because I got it from him. I'm gonna see if I can back this thing up without hitting anything. I hope. Let me pause this, I'll get back with you. Okay guys, I finally got them out here. I'm gonna do a little touch up work on them with uh, Penetrol. Uh, as I said earlier, I put Penetrol on both of these vehicles and uh, I blew the leaves off the driveway, but it's kind of hard to... Mrs. P.I.B. is working in the yard doing leaves. So I'm going to... As I said, I'm going to put some touch-up paint on 
both of it, not touch up paint, Penetrol. See where my wife's wanting me to put a second coat on this truck. I don't think it really needs a second coat, but I might do some touching up, but we'll see what happens. But uh, as I said, I've done both of these this year with Penetrol. Wash, wax, and then put Penetrol on it. And i done this one, I think, three times. So there might be a few little places that needs some Penetrol. I'm thinking, I'm not sure, but I'll, we'll just look at it and see. It's kind of hard to tell without the sun being out, and I'm trying to enjoy this beautiful day. I can't believe it. It's middle of November, and oh my, this is really nice. It's un unexpectedly, unexpected to me how nice it is. I've even set a few plants out, and Mrs. P.I.B., I got her working. He <laughs> he. So <laughs> anyway, she, I can talk pretty big when she's not able to hear me. She doesn't even know I'm watching her, so she just got some on, uh, got no rake, just raking up some leaves, and I'm going to play at the trucks, so I got a pretty good thing going, but I set some plants out, my wife and I did, because they, we had cold weather for about a week, now it's turned back into 60s and 70s, so thought I'd let the plants set out, but anyway, getting back on this, I'm going to get me some penetrol out and cut me up a little bit of piece of sponge, might go over a few spots that I think might need a little bit more done to it, put on again. And I always let it sit for 24 hours. Penetrol, if you're not familiar with it, is flammable. So don't, if you ever do it, don't be smoking or nothing. This is the grill I painted on this truck and I'm thinking about painting this one too sometime soon. I don't know when I'll get to it, but I'd have to do a lot. Of, this one here kind of scares me. See all that was basically one color of silver. This one has black and silver and red. I'd have to cover up all these letters. So this one, that one, that grill would be a challenge for me. So I don't know what I'm going to do just yet, but it might be next spring before I get to it. These days, like today, are, are kind of numbered as far as the year. So I'm going to get on it, and I'll let you know what I'm getting into here in just a minute. So hang on. While I'm at it, I almost forgot to do this, but I happened to be walking by and I remembered something. I was supposed to do an update on putting the boiled linseed oil. It's been like the boiled linseed oil on this 2007 Chevy Silverado truck. And the boiled linseed oil, I put it on the plastic and some of the rubber that you, the door handles, the mirrors, stuff like that. Look how, look how good that looks. Of course, we haven't had any rain yet and I'll keep you updated when we do what it looks like so just kind of stay tuned but it looks pretty good we've had somebody's been doing some leaf burning or something anyway it's got a lot of ashes on it here and there so it looks pretty good for what it is i mean i like it pretty good it's turned out good i still got a touch up the hooks but I just I just haven't had the time yet that's all you can do to keep everything clean so but the old truck looks pretty good this is what I was telling you about the this is why I have this put up here is to keep the the dew and stuff uh like I was talking about back there's probably a it's a dumb idea I should take it down but it's not hurting nothing but I was trying to keep water off the vehicles in the garage here but hey it's all good uh also i was wanting to tell you if you remember we named this truck coffee so because we put coffee in here to get rid of the cigarette smell so the other day mrs pib and i were were at a store that a discount store so they had a whole bunch of this coffee i think it was like six jars uh, Nesca Nescafe, Nescafe coffee, but it's got cinnamon. So we bought a whole case, which was six for like five bucks. It's really, really cheap. So we really didn't go wrong in it, but it, my wife and I both tried it. We drink instant coffee. And uh, I know some of y'all is going, Ew, but you have to, <laughs> it's an acquired taste. <laughs> Anyway, we drink instant coffee, so I told her, I said, let's try this, 
and see if we like it with the cinnamon because I never have. And it was so cheap. I mean, if you did like it, you could start, you know, uh, looking for it at the grocery store and stuff. So come to find out we didn't like it. So we're going to give it to uh, uh, one of the shelters, maybe. That, that's the plan. Anyway, around here that help help other people out. But this jar I've already opened. I'm sure they wouldn't take it. So what I've done is the same thing I've done before. i got a couple of containers. I can't smell cigarette smoke anymore, but Mrs. P.I.B. says she can occasionally. So what I've done is I've got some old lids, like from a KFC and stuff, when we get those bowls and stuff, you know, chicken mashed potato bowls. I really love those things. <clears throat> Probably not good for you, but it's just every once in a while, it's a rare occasion. But I poured some of this in here, and it smells like cinnamon. So I'm going to see. Uh, I set it out here so I remember to see it before I plop myself in there and knock it all over. So I'm going to let it sit here for a few days, see what it smells like. If it starts smelling like cinnamon in here, just doing an experiment. I like doing experiments because sometimes they pay off, sometimes they don't, but sometimes they do. So guess I'll keep this jar for experiments. If this pans out, I might put it in some more vehicles just, just to make them smell like cinnamon. So let me set this here before I break this. And that's a glass jar. That's kind of unusual too. Anyway, getting back on this, uh, because I don't want to make my videos so long, I'm going to divide this up into two videos because you know me, I'm a little bit long-winded. So I'm going to get started on one of these and I'll, I'll just talk about the one truck and then if you don't want to hear about the next one when I get to it that you know you don't have to click on it whatever on YouTube but I appreciate it if you would anyway I guess I'll get started on this one first and uh, look for spots that might need some penetrol so here we go okay guys I'm gonna get started on Wilma here and look it over again I've already got my penetrol out, fortunately. I've already got me a piece of a, uh, got me another dollar sponge from the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store. Yeah, Dollar Tree, I think, what you call it. Different names around here. You got Dollar General. I get mixed up on the dollars, but anyway, it's a Dollar Store tree. So I'm gonna pour me some penetrol in here, maybe go over a few spots and see how it looks. The spots it might, look a little bit thin i might put a little bit right here it's kind of hard to tell as i said because the sun is not shining but maybe i'll the truck is still clean it turned out good i think but maybe i might go over it again but i'll just kind of look it over and see what we got i'm not going to do the bed i've already done the inside of the bed that looks good enough so I might go over the the red here Again, or that's what Mrs. P.I.B. is wanting me to do. So, still kind of up in the air about me painting those metal spots that Tim fixed for me. I, in some ways, I wish I hadn't have done it, but Mrs. P.I.B. likes it. So, I guess, happy, uh, happy, happy, wife, happy life. one more time, what is it? Happy wife, happy life. Yeah, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> yeah, boy, isn't that true? Anyway, so I'm going to get at it. I'll show you what I'm doing here in a minute. Hang on. Okay, guys, I got half the hood done, putting penetrol on it. My Mrs. P.I.B. wanted me to just do the whole truck, so I'm just going to, at this point, I'm just going to do the red. She said this, this penetrol looks so much better on this truck, but I had to remind her that this truck has been painted once before, before I got it years ago. So I put three coats on this one. So I'm going to, I'm going to see if you can tell the difference. Of course, as I said, the sun is not out, but I can see a little bit of difference. Not, not a whole lot, but as I said, the sun is not out. So I want to do this part. Now I've got all this down through here done, the hood and the red on the fender, except for down here, I gotta do it. But uh, as I said, I'm just using a sponge if you've never done this before. A Little bit of penetrol in the sponge and I always keep a napkin and I wear a glove because, so I don't get penetrol all over my phone that I record with. So, 
that's probably a good idea. Paper towels are a pretty good idea too. I've been taking it and going over if there was any drips. I've been going over it and going over it, trying to make sure that there are no drips, but I get the paper towel and just kind of clean it off there. I, I think I've done fairly good on it, so I'm gonna get back on this other side and I'll show you what it looks like here in a few minutes. I, I can tell a little bit of difference, as I said, but I don't know. We'll see. Hang in there with me. We'll both find out. See you in a bit. Okay, I think I'm all done with this thing. It took me about probably an hour and a half. But I can tell it's got more of a shine to it. And as I have said in my other videos, I've got lots of videos putting Penetrol on. If you're interested, please watch some of them. Uh, but the sun is... As I, I always say this all the time, when the sun comes out, it's my friend. It helps dry it quicker, but I always let it set for about 24 hours just just because there's no certain, there's no certain way. I'm not an expert. I'm not endorsing. I'm not doing anything. You, you do anything you want to at your own risk. I'm just kind of doing this because I, I enjoy doing it, and, you know, it's on the cheap. I can buy a whole can of that Penetrol for like 10 bucks at Lowe's or, Home Depot, Walmart, I think Walmart has it. But uh, my wife and I were discussing this grill. That's kind of got me bum fuzzled just a little bit. Uh, as I was talking to you earlier, I painted this grill and she painted the 350 and stuff for me. So, but this one's gonna be quite a bit of a challenge. And she's told me maybe the best way to approach this is to just paint the whole thing, uh, you know, silver and then go back and fill in the black which you know maybe that makes sense because but uh i don't know it's just kind of got me bum puzzled i've always either just done one whole color but this one will be a little bit of a challenge i don't know if i'll get to it uh anytime soon but it is something i'm gonna try to do may it might be in the spring who knows depends on the weather so anyway if i have time i'll take it off and see what i can do with it uh, it's just making these corners and stuff. I want to do the best I can with it. And uh, painting all this stuff black might be a challenge, but I think if I did, if if I could do it and make it look decent, I think it'd make the whole front of the truck pop. See how, to me, this is my opinion, that one looks so much better painted. And to me. So I might do the grill here really soon. But anyway, I'll show you around the truck before I end this video. It's, uh, as you can see, the sun's out now. You can really kind of see it shining. It looks like clear coat, but it's not. It's Penetron. So kind of show you around. I did hit a few spots that, uh, that I did put on that the first time I put, this is the second time I've put Penetron on it. First time I might have missed or got a little bit too thin on the penetrol on a few spots i've done the top i've done i've done the white and the red i'm not doing the inside of the bed it doesn't need it even though i've already done it one time's good enough so i'm sorry you can't see the back of the tailgate how shiny it is but it is shiny just because of the shade so see you can't really tell too much over here because of the shade so but it is just like the the passenger side if the sun was shining on it you could tell a difference so what do you think she's good with it i think she was actually hoping it would turn out as good as this one here but uh it did turn out good i like the way it looks but uh as i said this one's been painted before with clear coat and stuff so and this one hasn't so it makes quite a bit of difference but uh Anyway, I'll end this video here. Hope y'all's having a good day. I thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to Primer This Best and my second YouTube channel, uh, Chevy Trucks. I have two channels. And uh, as I said, I, I'm just grateful that you watched the video. Thanks a lot. Please leave me a comment if you would. Let me know what you think. To me, it looks better. Got a good shine to it. And I was trying to make the red and the white pop. Uh, you know, that's 
my whole thing, try to, that's really my whole channel is to try to make things that you have do it on the cheap, you know, to try to make it look the best it can on the cheap because I'm a man on a budget. My wife will tell you that. <laughs> yes, sir. So anyway, uh, appreciate you watching. As I said, y'all stay safe. God bless each and every one of you. Don't forget, I am on Instagram. All one word, though. It's primary is best. All one word. And I'm on Facebook, Primate is Best. Thanks for watching. I'm fixing to start working on this truck next. So y'all stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see y'all later.